You learned different ways to talk about intentions and arrangements in this unit. Let's have another look at this language. Sophia tells her friend Terry about her plans for the weekend. Listen to their conversation. Jack and I are going rock climbing tomorrow. We're planning to start around seven. How would you like to join us? What? No way. I've never been rock climbing in my life, and I'm not about to start now. Relax. I just meant you could come along and take some photos. That's all. Well... All right then, I'll come with you, but don't expect me to go anywhere near a rock face. Sophia says, Jack and I are going rock climbing tomorrow. Are going is a present continuous verb. She uses it to describe a future activity that's already been arranged. Sophia continues, we're planning to start around seven. Our planning to is a continuous phrase. She uses it to tell Terry about her plans. Terry says, I've never been rock climbing in my life, and I'm not about to start now. I'm not about to is a future expression with be. Terry uses it to emphasise that he has no intention of doing something. Terry says, I'll come with you. Will come is a future simple verb. He uses it to express a decision he makes at the time of speaking. Look at a table with different ways to talk about intentions and arrangements. We can use going to, or the present continuous, to talk about things that are decided or arranged. We cannot use the present continuous for things that it's not possible for us to arrange and control. We use going to for this. Compare going to and the present continuous with the future continuous. We can use going to and the present continuous to ask about plans that someone has already made. The future continuous is different. We use it to ask about something we expect to happen in the future because it usually does. The future continuous has other uses. We can use it to talk about plans that aren't specially arranged. We can also talk about something that we expect to be in progress at a certain time in the future. Look at a table with more ways of talking about intentions and arrangements. About to and not about to have different meanings. About to means something will happen very soon. Not about to emphasises that someone has no intention of doing something. There are other future expressions with be. We can use be due to, to
to say something is expected or owed very soon, often at a certain time. B2 is used in formal language to talk about arrangements. When we are talking about a future event which is part of a regular schedule, we can use the present simple. Will is used in this way for official situations. When you are ready, go to the activity. Is the grammar correct? Choose yes or no. Look at the sentences again. We say, we're due to get paid today, aren't we? And, they're aiming to build four new hotels this year. That's it. Good work. Remember, you can use the language check anytime you want to revise intentions and arrangements.